Next up is uh, Dr. Bo Kyung Yoon, and then he will give a talk about um, labeling how medium chain fatty acid, which is uh, one of the food products, monoglyceride induced phospholipid disruption. Please welcome uh, Dr. Yoon. Thank you. Hi, so my name is Bo Kyung Yoon. I'm uh, the postdoctoral fellow in Songkyukan University now. I finished my PhD at the Nanyang Technological University two years ago. So it's my pleasure to have the wonderful opportunity to present about our, my research at the uh, AKC conference this year. So today I will present about the unraveling how medium chain fatty acid and monoglyceride induced phospholipid membrane destruction. The research background starts from the uh, serious public health issues. So definitely nowadays the uh, virus infections are, are the major problem, uh, such as the COVID-19 for the human and the African swine fever virus for the pigs. Uh, these involved viruses have uh, have the like a common structure, the lipid membrane. So one of the strong antiviral like anti antiviral a strategies into targeting the lipid membrane. In this context, uh, the antimicrobial lipid uh, received a strong, uh, strong attention as the antimicrobial uh, antibiotic compound. So it has widely found in the nature and part of the innate immune defense. So we can easily see, uh, find in the skin and mother milk. Also, it has the broad spectrum antimicrobial activity against the envelope virus and bacteria. So of the antimicrobial lipid, the fatty acid and monoglyceride rights are known as having strong antimicrobial activity. So for example, the lauric acid and glycerol monoglyceride, uh, which have the uh, 12 carbon chains are the popular antimicrobial lipid. And this antimicrobial lipid has some membrane active property. So as you can see, the after treat with the uh, antimicrobial lipid, you can see the bacteria membrane totally destroyed. And also the, uh, the antimicrobial lipid can interact with the immune uh, cells, so can act the immunomodulatory activity. However, for, uh, for the most of the the study of uh, study of the membrane interaction of the antimicrobial lipid has been done by using the biological assays. So more like a focus on the observed the result after incubation with the uh, testing compounds. So there is limited understanding of the interaction mechanism and also strong need to develop new measurement strategies for real-time interaction analysis. So in order to study those interactions deeply, we adopted the supportive lipid bilayer platform. So this platform is very comparable with a wide range of the surface sensing measurement technique. So we can uh, have like a SRB remodeling, like a uh, result from the interaction with fatty acid and monoglyceride. So for the experimental strategy, First, we uh, investigated the molecular aggregation property of the antimicrobial lipid by using the fluorescent spectroscopy. The, those property is a very important physical chemical property of the antimicrobial lipid, which is the amplifier. So by understanding the property, we further uh, uh, study the real-time interaction kinetic of the of the membrane interaction by using the culture crystal microglass. And then for the uh, significant like, uh, interest in condition, we further visualize the membrane morphological responses by using the fluorescence microscopy. So we developed the supportive liquid bilayer platform to capitalize fatty acid and monoglyceride. So we can compare the membrane interaction of the lauric acid and glycerol monoglyceride. 
So let me briefly explain about this um, uh, measurement principle. Uh, so first, like uh, QCMP, the clutch crystal microbonus with this patient technique. So we fabricate the uh, support lipid bilayer by using the uh, servant assisted, assisted lipid bilayer method. This method is very convenient and uh, uh, very great uh, method to fab fabricate the great uh, quality of the SLB with the simple step by exchanging the servant. And in the QCMD values, so you will see the uh, two main values. The first is the frequency and this is the patient. So for the frequency, the increased mass uh, reflect and the decrease the resonance frequency. But for the dissipation, the high physical elastic property uh, result in the increased energy dissipation. After that, uh, in order to study the micellar aggregation property of the antimicrobial lipid, you can measure the critical micelle concentration uh, values. So we obtained the CMC, like uh, the critical micelle concentration value by using the fluorescence uh, proof technique. The fluorescent proofs have the uh, property to sensitive to the polarity of the solubilized light environment. And it, uh, so it showed the different uh, fluorescent spectrum uh, depend on the micellar and non-micellar surroundings. So for example, for the GMS case, as you can see by increasing of the uh, the GMA concentration, you can see the purpose of uh, maximum uh, peak of the spectrum start to be decreased. So we can uh, show in the, uh, this way too. Uh, so CMC value is uh, determined at the point start to be the, uh, start to have the decrease of the peak wavelengths. So in uh, GMA case, we can say the 60 micromolar is the CMC value. Based on the dose of understanding, let me first uh, show the single component membrane interaction. Uh, we wanted to study physical, uh, physical chemical property difference between the fatty acid and monoglyceride, and then further want to like investigate it, the how the different uh, property can induce the different membrane uh, responses. So we picked the uh, lauric acid. Uh, and the glycerol monoroid that simply we call the GMA. So first we measure the CMC of that compound. So CMC value of the lauric acid is 950 and for the GMA, uh, CMC value is the decide at the 60 micromolar. So the GMA has a much uh, significant like a lower CMC values because it has its non anhydride group so the non anhydride group is more like to form the micellar aggregation than the non anhydride group that fatty acid have. And after uh, get the uh, CMC values, uh, we also uh, further uh, study the QCMD, uh, QCMD measurement to investigate the membrane interaction in response to the uh, lauric acid and GMA. So you find out the uh, lauric acid uh, shows the CMC dependent membrane interaction. So if I briefly explain, the frequency value uh, around the 27 and 26, and also um, along with the dispersion value around the uh, zero, it's close to the zero, like indicate there's a, a very good uh, supportivity by layer. So as soon as we inject the uh, lauric acid, the frequency start to be decreased and the uh, dissipation start to be increased. So it indicates that there is a very active the membrane um, membrane interaction and, uh, from the addi uh, addition of the lauric acid. So interestingly, we all uh, observe this kind of like a high membrane of activity only above the sensitive value and the uh, below CMC value, the activities was very uh, negligible. 
So for the significant uh, two millimolar oleic acid uh, case, we further uh, visualized by using the fluorescence microscopy. So let me show you data. So lauric acid interact with the uh, lipid membrane and they induce the uh, many tubular formation like this. And also similar to CNC dependent uh, measurement response, we also observe uh, in the GNR case. So as you can see above the uh, CMC value uh, of the GNO, we uh, see the high membrane activity, uh, but the, at the low, low activity we observe at the, uh, below the CMC values. So especially around intermediate, intermediate concentration range between 100 to the 1 millimolar, we have a huge uh, decrease of the frequency and increase of the dissipation. So we uh, expect that the morphology responsive induced by the GMA is totally different from the chloric acid case. And then we further confirm it by using the fluorescence microscope image. As you can see, there's the uh, huge the body formation induced by the GMA case. So we are uh, in this uh, from this study, we can uh, understand the GMA and lauric acid, even they have the similar chemical structure, they are induced totally different member lane or particle responses. So in uh, this SRB platform, we can expand to the more like, uh, complex biological, uh, biological membrane platform, uh, such as the in high fraction of the cholesterol embedded membrane. So in this platform also, uh, we observed that GMA uh, induced the body information and uh, lauric acid induced the tubular formation. But the difference point is that the extent of the membrane morphological responses is the different depend on the, depend on the cholesterol like a fraction in the membrane. So for the uh, GMA case, as increased the uh, uh, cholesterol fraction in the membrane, the body, like extent of the uh, body formation is uh, decreased, but the lauric uh, acid case, the much more tubular like, uh, formation we can observe. And the other example is that we can study drug development by using this platform. So we distinguish the uh, difference between the dodacic glycerol and uh, GMA, the glycerol monoarray. The DDG is the uh, very similar, has the very similar chemical structure with the GMA and also is uh, known as have the strong antibacterial activity. So, but we didn't know, uh, previously we uh, didn't know there's the, um, how, there, even how the uh, similar uh, difference of the chemical structure impress uh, on the membrane responses. So, but if, by using this platform, we can distinguish uh, they induce the different uh, membrane responses. So after we uh, study those single uh, single compound interaction um, with the membrane, we. Uh, move to focus on study SRB interaction with the mixture of fatty acid and monoglyceride. So we use the similar strategy. The one distinct point is that like uh, we obtain the CMC value by using the fluorescence spectroscopy and by using the CMC value we can uh, expect the mixing behavior of the fatty acid and monoglyceride in the mixing like a uh, mixing status. So we, uh, after get the, this uh, uh, understanding of the mixing behavior, we further also study the QCMD for their uh, real-time membrane interaction kinetic and also visualized by using the fluorescent, fluorescent microscopy. So we observed that synergetic SRB remodeling like a cause from the interaction with the mixture of fatty acid and monoglyceride. 
So let me show you data first. Uh, we, obt uh, we obtained the, all the CMC values of the different fraction of the chloric acid and GMR in the mixture. So after we obtain this CMC value, we can adapt this value to the um, pseudo phase separation model theory. So by using that uh, theory, and we it can explain that GMR and lauric acid uh, exhibit ideal mixing, and so it formed the mixed myself with well controlled molar ratio. And also from the uh, fluorescent microscopy, we observed a very interesting dynamic chapter transformation. So first example is the pulse on a string transformation. So let me show you data first. So it initially formed the bud, like a big bud here. And then over seconds, the, the uh, bud transformed shape into the pearl on a string, and then subsequently break down the uh, break down the structure and uh, like form the small bud. And another interesting like uh, transformations are bud to tube and tube to bud formation. So first, uh, see the data. So the bud uh, transform to the tube over time, and the, this bud shed to the bud. So rapid conversion of the, this bud into the elongated tubers and opposite the transformation happen, especially this happen at the intermediate molar mesh of the uh, mixtures. And for final step, after we wash out the order, like uh, addition of the mixture, we can also quantify the uh, membrane defect at the each condition. So we can compare the membrane lysis. So this is the control of, uh, of the lauric acid GMO at uh, above the CMC values. And we observed that most extensive membrane damage occurred when the equimolar of the GMA and lauric acid. So for example, at, for, uh, as you can see, at the 50 and 50 molar ratio of the mixture case, have the much more like a much more significant uh, membrane defect uh, compared to the, the even more higher like a uh, concentration case. So we observed that a certain like a uh, equimolar condition the mixture showed a much more like a, a synergetic membrane disruption. And this acid problem also can be explained to the investigative diverse mixture, not just for the fatty acid and monoglyceride, also mixtures of the monoglyceride and also the other antimicrobial lipids. So in here, like uh, we mix it uh, two different monoglycerides. The first is the GML and also the GMC, the glycerol monocarpate. The GMC is the monoglyceride of the capric ca acid, which have the 10 carbon chains. So we observe that mixed monoglyceride nanomycer can be designed, uh, designed with the tunable membrane destructive properties. So for the conclusions, the SLB platforms can detect the distinct in interaction profiles of the fatty acid and monoglyceride and the mixtures and more. And also lauric acid induced the tuber to form a, a tuber to form and the glycerol monoglyceride cause the membrane budding. So, and also synergistic SLB remodeling occurs from the addition of the mixture of fatty acid and monoglyceride. And uh, quantitative measurement capabilities can provide membrane destructive activity. So this uh, membrane platform is the, uh, we can say it's excellent, has the excellent potential for medical and biotechnology and the agriculture applications. So for acknowledgement, I um, really appreciate to the, my uh, PhD PI, Professor Nam Jun Cho, for the supporting this uh, research. And also thank to the, uh, all my colleagues in Singapore and Korea 
um, now. Um, thank you for the attention to my presentation. Thank you so much. <laughs>